Well, wa water's life. I mean, if we if we don't have access to clean water, um, our lives are so much more difficult. I mean, we wouldn't have a community. <laughs> Nobody in San Francisco. I mean, San Francisco would be a very different place. The Bay Area would be a very different place if we didn't have access to clean water. And there's just so many things that we wouldn't be able to do. My job manages the source water uh, that ends up in the treatment process. So we, we manage the reservoir system uh, to meet the filtration avoidance requirements. Um, so we work closely with land managers to ensure that the water coming from Hetch Hetchy remains, remains clean and uh, meeting the EPA standards for uh, non-filtered source water. So I'm passionate about my job as a hydrologist in, in the water industry um, because it's an essential for you know, human life. Uh, it's, a, it's a human need. While we're delivering clean water, we're also generating power with it. The water that comes from Hetch Hetchy Reservoir goes through two powerhouses. For most of the travel that it gets from uh, Yosemite National Park and the Tuolumne River watershed to San Francisco, it's going through a series of pipes and tunnels. It's gravity fed, so it, no pumping is required to get it all the way 167 miles. When you find a place to live or have the fortune of being brought up and born and raised in the Bay Area, you have that access and it becomes just what you, you become accustomed to. You know, we really don't think about it that we're ever going to run out of water, but California's water supply is so dependent on snow and snow melt. So if we don't have these, you know, big winters with snow, then we have less water, water supply. Water access is like super important. I mean, we kind of take it for granted here in the Bay Area because it's so, like, it's accessible, it's, it's good. Um, it's healthy, but other people don't have that luxury. People could really get sick from drinking water that isn't clean. You know, because we've got San Francisco Public Utilities Commission water, we're lucky that we don't have to worry about that. The quality of our water is pretty good since we live in San Francisco because it comes from Hetch Hetchy, so it's like really good quality. It's totally drinkable. For our, our youth that live in San Francisco, I think it's incredibly valuable for them to know the way that they treat their water and the way that they value their water is a reflection of how they value themselves because uh, water is so critically important for them to be healthy, but also a reflection of how they value their city, how they value their state, and ultimately how they value this planet. We are in this commitment together. Um, so sustaining our commitment to delivering water is successful because the communities have sustained their commitment to using it responsibly and conserving when necessary and always and helping us through periods of drought. It's a very interconnected, I mean water connects us all. It connects all life and without access to clean water, that web of life gets really damaged. And our connections with one another, with other forms of life, with the plants, are, are much compromised. And so we really need to um, see water as something sacred that connects us so that we protect it completely and, and manage to, you know, have water, clean water for our children and our grandchildren and the generations to come. As long as, as long as Hetch Hetchy's here, you're always going to be guaranteed fresh, clean drinking water to 2.5 million people.